So I've made a few videos about shofars in the past, um, showing you different styles of blowing and all that. Now, I'm totally fascinated with horns, whether they're shofars, whether they're conch sh horns, like the trident horns, uh, the viking horns, any type of horn, like a trumpet, a bugle, I love them. Now, I picked me up um, a trident horn, you know, like the sea horns. And uh, this just came Saturday, got dropped off at the post office, and we actually had to wait until this morning to get it because by the time Shabbos was over, they had left it actually not in a parcel locker. They left it for pickup. So got down there this morning and picked this beauty up and uh, summoned the power of the sea. Beautiful, and even though it's got the hole drilled out there for the mouthpiece, you can still you can still hear the C. Now, of course, I plug up the end to hear the C, although you can still hear it slightly. But uh, that's got a beautiful sound to it, in my opinion. It was uh, about 80, 90 bucks on Amazon, and. Uh, I absolutely love this one. I don't even have to hold my lips near as tight. I just have to press it more up against my mouth and just relax, which is why I can actually blow longer on this one than I can my kudu or the smaller ones because I have to pucker so tight to get the sound out of the other ones. But let's hear it one more time. Hold on. So, it took me a minute to get that second blast going because I was uh, not getting it sealed properly. It, it's a very new horn. I'll have to learn to take better care, care of this one because I'm sure uh, a sea horn is going to be different than a ram's horn. But it's still a beautiful piece. It's uh, You can kind of see where it's been polished down. So it's not got all the horns on it that some of these would have. But thank you so much for watching.